Oh well, oh well. It's good. Warm up, shake off all the, the heebie-jeebies, get the nerves going here. And I'm sure any second now, we're just gonna be absolutely cruising on by. And double ants is actually a decent start, as well as honey in the shop. You love to see it. We will be using honey on one of our ants. Do I want a beaver? No, let's reroll you. Fish, though. Fish I can do. Look, it was a warm-up? Exactly. No, we weren't even trying is the thing. Like, uh, if anything, I lost on purpose. And that was totally intended and very much calculated. But we have unintended, creamy, and unsubtle. Arms, feet, aunties. Creamy feet. That's just a, a wonderful piece of mental imagery there. You know what? Now that I've seen it, I can't stop it. Creamy arms, I think of myself because I'm super pale. But creamy feet. I'm gonna go with that here. I think we lose this. Depends on where things hit. And never mind, it's a draw. Beautiful. You would have gotten the beaver just to give it honey and call it a beaver. Oh crap, missed opportunity. Oh, I'm so stupid. But that's fine. Missed opportunities. These things happen. In the future, we can get a good a good beaver going, I'm sure. Sure, it's a little antithetical to the whole purpose of the beaver and actually desiring to sell them, but that's completely besides the point. Anything for the, the pun there. And ooh, interesting. I wonder if this was just otter silliness? Or did they have some early ducks or something? Also, that was super unfortunate to get a draw there. I think both of our ant stacks went back to our duck. Anyone else hit by even one of those. And we would have been golden. Absolutely wonderful. But that's okay. These things definitely happen. I think it's hilarious that a last position honey plus badger is actually good. Yeah, I can never throw too much uh too much hate on the the honey badger name. Absolutely incredible stuff. But hmm. Maybe we'll get a good old peacock going. And buy you, we can freeze you. Maybe roll once or twice here. I'll take more honey. Okay, I did like the idea of getting a fish on the engine here. Question becomes, do I want to power it up with our duck? Or try and get a level three that's maybe going to be incredible and stack or scale really well off of that. I think I'm just going to work with what's in front of us here. Get a, a slightly bigger fish going. Then both of these are actually pretty solid. The rat just for 5-6. Statistically, that's looking pretty nice at the moment. But maybe we'll freeze you and think about it for the future. Okay. Hill means we can definitely get it started here. Please don't hit your ant friend. Or the fish. Like, only hit big fish, please. It'd be very nice. You son of a... How dare you. And that's why we pilled you. Otherwise, we would have let you live, but we knew you'd betray us, Ant. No good. The team's looking okay. I think we're definitely in a better position than we were the last game. Time will still tell whether it will be enough. But otherwise, pretty happy. I mean, I'll take a draw, sure. As long as we can keep our health looking at a half decent spot. But then next while here, I mean, we can get started on our B shenanigans right away here. Get rid of you. See, now that's an ant who knows how to work well within a team. That's who we wanted the bus to go to the whole time. And, hmm, if I can buy two of you, I might actually combine, no, oh, don't do it yet. Combine the fish. I guess maybe bring in a good old writ first. Combine our fish, see if we get a good level 3. Nothing too incredible there. So I think Flamingo can be brought in. Another beautiful honey in a jar target for us. And I mean, it's a start. It's definitely, it's, it's getting there. It's on its way. 
Oh, you son of a gun. How dare you snipe that? It's going to be tougher than I was hoping for. Yeah, that's definitely a loss for us there, unfortunately. Still only two hearts, though. It's not until this next round that things get truly dire. I mean, being able to lose three times before we're kicked out of this, I'll take that for sure. Turtle can probably stick around. We could try giraffe again. We kept trying to make giraffe work last week. And I think it's a half decent idea. Can either get our bee, buff, uh, bee buffing up or at least try and get ahead of the curve in terms of overall statistics here. Main issue is space. Because I could freeze like the entire shop and then roll. Let's maybe get rid of you just to open up a little bit of space, but I'm, I'm looking for that honey. I need that honey, please. I will take the, the second draft, though. Yeah, one more shot at honey. Okay, and then I think we have to start thinking about our future a little bit here. We can sell the flamingo. Turtle will become our future bee target, maybe. And who do we want to buff up? Semsem fish. Big bee is always a nice idea, at least in theory. Though, in practice, never seems to quite work out as well as I'd hope. We have no hat, just noticed. Yeah, I haven't really taken a look at the hats in the game. In general, when I've played video games in the past, I've never been a huge um, cosmetics. Giraffe. Not fan, because I have no problem with cosmetics. That makes it sane fan there, makes it seem like I'm against them. But it's just never been something that I really put too much credence in on my end of things. Because I definitely have a decent number of coins here. I wonder what I can even afford. Isn't there like, is Golden Poop the most expensive hat? Something like that. But this is looking like a pretty solid matchup here. I'll definitely be happy with this. Perfect. So you're saying there's a chance. First win. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. And now we get honey. It's too late for the flamingo plays. Turtle's a likely contender, though. How much do I love the giraffe? Because alternatively, we could just unfreeze turtle for now. Bring in giraffe. Honey our rat, probably, would be the next uh, best bet there. It's too bad we don't have badger out already. It's nice because, as was mentioned in the chat earlier, we can get the honey badger combo, but on top of that, we can get two kills for the price of one by pilling our badger next to another honeyed critter. Let's go with honey on the rat for now. It gives us one more shot to potentially get a level 2 giraffe. Would have been nice. Would have been very lovely. But we'll take whatever we get. Let's instead just garlic up our fishy pal. See how she goes. Round 6, we just got over the, the two-digit range on one of our pets here. I think we're a little bit behind the curve. Oh, this team's about to pop off. So close to the bison working out. That's pretty nice. But fortunately, we can definitely try and capitalize on teams that are working on that upward trajectory. So we need all the help we can get here. Hmm. I might as well take the fish. I could really use giraffe here. I guess that maybe I shouldn't even be rolling past honeys. Yeah, let's honey the giraffe. Might be putting too many baskets into our future basket. We were just talking down on people who were planning too much for the future and not enough for the present. Might have walked myself into the same boat there. But hopefully we'll be okay. Just put me up against full duck team or something. I know it's pretty late for that, but wouldn't it be cool? Just enough to kill you. You wipe out your own sheep. Interesting. You killed our bee though, you son of a gun. How dare you. That matchup worked out very nicely for us. So close. So, so close. I'm surprised our rat didn't kill them. It would have been a loss anyway. Don't get me wrong. But I thought our betrayal, or betrayer in the back could have done some wonders for us. Monkey could definitely make that work. I need a pill, though. Need, need, need a pill. I think we'll say no to bison for now. Roll me. And there we go. Only took a few tries. 
So we can get rid of the rat. I think it's the right call here. Find you up. Is it? I almost just immediately said out loud, it's too late for Rhino. I guess it's earlier than you'd ever normally expect to see Rhino. That's why I just am never quite sure how to get Rhino to pop off. I feel like even with buffers like a monkey and a giraffe, it's still just already on the back foot a little bit too far to get going. It's a tough one to say the least. So we'll just bring in a monkey pal, roll again. Love to see another pill. Brings us to very close to the level 3B. Again, still plenty of time for it. <laughs> Only two wins, not looking fantastic. Definitely need to see some more upwards momentum if we're going to get there whatsoever. Ah. Fellow scholar here with some honey, I see. You know, they're not doing it right, of course. You need to uh, be running the full build if you're going to do anything at all, but... I can still respect it a bit at the very least. I mean, we win, so I very much respect your team options. I needed that right now. I needed a bit of uplifting news. And okay. Draft is probably too slow now, so I think we can pill you, especially in exchange for some cow shenanigans or something. I think that works for me. Would we want to feed it to the bee, or should I just keep going? I feel like so often you want that one really beefy unit up at the front. I mean, sure, it gets absolutely destroyed by a single mad scorpion, but... Yeah, because the other thing is it's tempting to try and get the rooster out and give all the milk to the rooster. That'd be like getting rid of the fish as well because i don't think we want to get rid of the monkey regardless let's start here get back to basics and then how do we want to play this we probably do want to buy the honey before we overwrite the entire shop with cows i've definitely made that mistake many times in the past here you feel like shark works well if you pill a lot too oh that's right I never even thought about it. There are like just those few animals that have those interesting mechanical advantages outside of combat. And I kind of forgot that fainting your friends outside of combat would count. It's tough that it's a tier five because it comes so late that we're not really pilling very much anymore. At least ideally, we won't be having to pill too, too much anymore here. But otherwise, I do like the, the idea behind that. Something interesting to be said. For now, I think I'm going to honey the monkey because we'll eventually get rid of them once everyone's balled out of control here. And let's bring out the cow. And I think we just go for the, the big old peacock up front. Probably will go for the self, that extra gold here. Can get a, a reroll at the end. Maybe find our way into a chocolate. Oh, hey. Not every day that the game actually gives us what I'm asking for. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Let's see. Penguin is close to full scaling across the board. We're a little bit late for that. Might be in a rough spot. Could use the chocolate on something like the fish. Chocolate and killing the monkey gives us level 3B. We're only at three wins though. So there's not exactly a huge rush to get it going. Maybe I'll freeze Penguin. Give me something to think about. It'd be nice to see our B actually being able to actively contribute to the team here. Let's check it out. I mean, no scorpion. That's already looking fantastic. Oh, this is the buff build. I mean, level 2 giraffe, second from the front. Not a great look. Not exactly what you're going for, but... Still, very much need those victories, so thank you. Thank you so, so much. And, hmm... Do we go for double monkey or upgraded monkey? Double monkey only benefits the peacock. But I feel like penguin is just a little bit too slow. 
it's funny because mathematically they kind of work out the same. Giving two plus one plus ones is equal in some respects to giving one plus two plus two. But it's about that speed of scaling. You just need to get there right away. And especially often, you just need to get there with one character and then you're golden. You'll be looking fine. I guess the alternative there is that we could bring in Penguin, chocolate our peacock. All the front line is getting buffed. Still have one chocolate saved for the future of our bee dream. I mean, sounds kind of nice. I worry that I'm putting too much pressure on our front units here. Again, we're very much looking at uh, running into one scorpion and absolutely panicking. Chocolate on B. We could right away. But I think I'm a little bit worried about survival. And we have six more wins to go. So we're saving one chocolate. But I think I need one on the peacock to get that penguin popping. Just throw the bee right away. And let's roll a couple of times here and see what we get. You want to fish? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, don't you worry. We're not going to forget about the bee. Too much is at stake. The entire universe. Everything that we love most in this world hinges on getting that level 3 B before the end. Oh, dang it. Always hate when they get the, the sheep out of the, uh, the spider, but I mean, we still managed to chunk through the majority of their teams, so that's something. Also, thank you so much, Jaboki Bean, for the follow. I appreciate it a whole lot. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're the good luck chart we needed to succeed in life. I mean, I kind of want to put the mushroom on the bee just because they're the MVP of the team here. We got to keep them alive at all costs. For now, start with the fish. Get nice buffs all around here. Penguin is definitely up there for next year. And again, it's so tempting to use this chocolate on the penguin. The only reason why we do so is if we think our life depends on it. It'd be giving plus two, plus two to all of these friends. The only issue is if it's too good, then we start winning out of control here and we never get what we need for our B. And that, again, would just be so sad. So, so sad. So, it's tough. It weighs heavy on my conscience. And I know, chat, I know you want the, the chocolate on the B right away. But all good things come in due time. I think I need that penguin. Won't freeze anything, especially none of the food in the, the shop here, because we are hoping for more chocolates to show up. But this is looking like it might have a chance. That badger in the back kind of scaring me here, especially if you get taken out. Oh no, it might be you son of a... How dare you. But okay, looking good otherwise. We still have a little bit of health. There's the chocolate that we need for the future. I mean, we're in a very similar fashion here. I'm so tempted to throw it on the monkey right away. Pills are hard to come by, though, so we don't know if we'll be able to kill you off. Let's roll once. Please just give me a monkey here so you can alleviate all my concerns and we can instead just be happy with what we've got in the world. Another penguin? Probably not what I'm looking for. Holy crap, pill though. That can stay frozen for the future. Now we have the level 3B available. It's ready. It's sitting and, and waiting for us here. Only issue is we can't kill off the monkey too soon. We don't want to be too late about it either. Let's freeze you. Let's roll me once because I would very much prefer to have another monkey. Unfortunately, doesn't look like it's going to be the case. So let us instead pop you here. We'll use the chocolate on the bee this time. And now that we know with this pill, we have a level 3 bee. We're there now to survive. That's the only goal moving forward. So hopefully we can get another chocolate to show up. Something to do get the bee and take in. Oh, another penguin. Ooh, that would have actually been very interesting. Move. 
It's a shame I didn't think of it at the time. I mean, turns out one big dog is enough to just completely throw all of our dreams into the trash, but, but maybe, just maybe, we can get that sorted. Hmm. Snake is always very tempting for me. Definitely one of my favorite characters to run. Another penguin. I mean, again, we could have, I guess, gone for the pill in the double penguin play, but we're so close to level three penguin that I think I do want to push through. Let's see. We could pill and bring in a snail. Is that worth it? Gives us level three B. Snail is going to be useless, but in terms of combat, the monkey is already kind of useless. It's not like we're missing out too, too much. And a plus two, plus one is almost as good as the monkey, but for the whole squad. And when you put it that way, definitely seems like not the most stupid idea. It's up there. It's not great. Let's try it out. Get the level three B. It's here. We finally achieved it. And snail in the back. Get everyone buffed up a little bit. Hopefully that's enough to push through. A couple more rounds here. A few more rounds. Still four victories to go, unfortunately. It's going to be a rough one. Oh no, and they have a scorpion. <laughs> no! Well, GG. It was a good try, though. That one was actually looking fairly promising for the majority of the trip here. We're getting closer. We're creeping and crawling our way towards that level 3B win. I can, I can feel it. Definitely freeze the honey. Bring in another. We got through a game. We got to level 3B for sure, but no ribbon. And we need that ribbon still. It's not just about getting to the level 3. It was beautiful while well it lasted. We tried for sure. Nefarious, moody, and dense puppies, bosses, tentacles. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the nefarious puppies. I like the dichotomy. Get a real mix of themes and stuff going, especially coming from being the, the soft doggos just a bit ago. We're now something far darker, something much scarier. The nefarious puppies. I think this is a win. Should be beautiful i would hope so against majority one damage units when we start off with mostly fish definitely would hope that we win that one and i mean this is pretty much the dream here just bring in the honey oh and we get more honey and another ant to sacrifice to the eldritch gods now that's what you like to see let's move it on i think you got one sticker for the tier three b you can get the second sticker for a tier three b win so it's progress it is progress and i guess shouldn't discount that for sure it feels good to get even the initial sticker here but i believe that we can get the the sticker and the ribbon today that's the goal just need all the the stars and planets to align and we'll get there for sure okie dokie think we can combine two of our fish to bring in a second ant which we can immediately honey mm, honey honey let's roll one last time i mean dog is nice holy crap all the honey you can possibly eat it's tempting to freeze both but it, we really need pills to show up otherwise these two buddies are just sitting here twiddling their thumbs so, let's combine these. I think I will freeze a giraffe here. But we'll bring in a dog for the time being. Something like that. Uh, it hurts so much to potentially unfreeze this and say no to two, two whole honeys. But we really need those pills right now. I need to get a bee on the board, you know. So I think we will leave you for now. Killing these buddies also gives us the proc for the dogs, so that's exceptionally valuable. And yeah, early wins are huge for sure. You know, it makes it a little bit tougher, of course, to get to the level three B, but it makes it much easier to just keep ourselves ahead of the curve. So hopefully we can get that working. 
I mean, the bee is doing some wonderful work for us that round at the very least. Perfect, absolutely fantastic. Holy crap, that's three for three, isn't it? Well then, what else can we do with you here? Probably can combine you and bring in a giraffe. I'm looking for that pill though. Not quite, not, not quite what we were looking for. There we go, perfect. Absolutely love to see that. I actually thought for a moment that it also gave us an open slot. I forgot how this whole dang thing worked. But that's still fine. As for this honey, I think we can afford to give it to the giraffe for now with the idea that giraffe will eventually be sold once scaling is completely finished on all of our characters, which of course it will be. We'll definitely live far enough to have 50-50s across the board. So that seems nice. We have doggy carry. Hopefully we are the nefarious puppies. It sure would be nice. This, uh, this doggo could turn on their evil side, unveil their brilliant mastermind plan. Losing an 8-8 to an 8-1 doesn't feel great. Nope, definitely not looking great either, but hey, first loss, I don't mind. Still in the two hit range as well, so that gives us three more losses in the future that we'll of course completely ignore because we never lose. And let's see, we we'll probably freeze you. And then I, I'm really hoping for a pill. Oof, that's not great. With a pill, we could have gone rid of the ant, so we could use the open slot to upgrade our doggy. Always nice. Hmm. And it's hard to say no to swans. Swans are definitely some of my favorite animals in the game. Gotta love getting that economy going. We just don't have the space for it right now. I'm gonna roll a little bit deeper. Very much hoping for a pill. Garlic on our fish is still greatly appreciated, don't get me wrong. Again, I'm looking for a pill is the thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's possible. Well, let's just throw you on instead then. I've kept the flamingo frozen mostly as the next honey target. Not sure how necessary that is. We're just rolling all of the honey. Maybe draft the dog instead of the fish, more likely to stick around. Right, I was kind of going back between the two. Dog definitely is more likely to keep scaling. If we can get the fish to level 3 and maybe get a bison going, then it's very much likely to stick around as well. I get very tunnel visioned on just bigger number. Let's just make those even better. Keep it going. And then if we ever manage to level up the draft, it can go both ways. Let's, let's see. Part of it is that I like having two units semi-scaling. It's probably not the best move in terms of ensuring success, but it's nice to have the fish scaling off giraffe and then the dog also scaling off of summons. But hey, if we're not killing off things, and we're unable to summon. Dog's not really going to get anywhere on its own. And it is the namesake of the team. So let's, let's put our money where our mouth is, shall we? This does not look like a good matchup though. That melon armor is going to be quite the pain in the butt here. Yep, definitely turned out to be. Poor bees getting absolutely destroyed by that swan. <laughs> oh, poor buddies. And I definitely don't need another ant. Come on, I just need a pill. Just pill me. Not quite. I mean, we do get the level 3 fish. Which I think I'll just take, honestly. We're probably not going to work out for us. We're already spending too much money on things. Let's just roll deep, I guess. I really need a pill. Please, sir. My aunt, it's very sick. It needs some medicine. Just give me a pill. Oh, rough. But also the giraffe's bee helps dog. So we want it first. Decisions, decisions. Right? It's just a, a small statistical bonus, so I don't think it's the be-all end-all. I'm hoping that it'll be alright there. Ooh, that's a chunky whale. I mean, perfectly timed B to uh, tank that hit for us, get the melon armor off. Lovely. Definitely love to see that. On first blush, I thought that was going to be a loss for sure. Please. I need a pill. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Well, I'll still pair dog. 
bison. Don't mind if I do. But I really... I need pills in order to, to bring you in, friend. Too much committed now. Let's go for it. Uh, one more roll for a pill? Okay, never a doubt in my mind, of course. Absolutely perfect timing there. Bring in just our second beast. We're definitely quite a bit behind from where we were last game, but I think we have the time to catch up. Bison scaling in the back end too. Perfect. And then we still want more pills because we probably will kill the giraffe now. Bring in the turtle for some Malone armor. Well, let's try it out. Never seen so much honey and no pills in your life. It's been very brutal. Yeah, all the honey we could possibly eat. And no pills to use it on. I never didn't have it. Indeed, indeed. Okay, we are down to lethal, of course. Seems to be a bit of a pattern here where we can get those early wins, get the, the rise going on. Usually just to kind of come crashing down on the other side, but I'm sure we'll be fine. It's just the beginning, so I think I will pill my draft this turn. Give us the free spot. Ooh, cow. It's actually quite nice. I'm trying to think of ordering here. I want all three of you. We can afford all three of you. So it's going to have to be dog first. Get up to level two dog. Beautiful. Then bring in a cow. And let's just get this dog kicking here. I guess very unlikely to run into a scorpion, so we'll probably reconfigure the team a wee bit here, something like this. Well, I guess it doesn't even really matter, because we'll probably just put Hurdle in the front, give us that melon armor. Okay. I can dig this. We're on our way. We need honey for you. Or just a bunch of chocolate. We'll see how things shake out here. definitely worked out in terms of taking out some of their scary units there, but I don't know if we're chunking through you. <laughs> so close. So, so close. Oh, me oh my. Unfortunately, another another defeat for the, the poor old B team. I mean, this one was definitely close. I'm surprised that our last team managed to last so long. And yet this one, which is actually pretty solid. I mean, having a big dog bison on the, the up and up i had more hope more faith in this one to move it forward but 